Thank you very much, Your Excellency, Mr. Chairman, Senator Bukala Saraki. You've done a fantastic job, and um, I want to remind you that you're still being weighted in broadcasting, being a very good moderator. Please give him a big round of applause, and uh, I hope that you all got the message that came from that beautiful presentation. One phrase that came out, misery index equals inflation plus unemployment. That was a big one. I hope that that will not be our lot, as we say. Let's just move now right straight to the second session, which is entitled Building Systems and Institutions That Prevent Corruption. Building Systems and Institutions That Prevent Corruption. And uh, the chairman of this session is none other than Justice Muhammad uh, Mustafa Akombi, retired Justice of the Court of Appeal and former chairman of ICPC. He is unavailably, uh, he just stepped out a moment ago, but he'll be back in a moment. We have presenters. Our presenters are Professor Akin Oyebode, and I would like Professor Oyebode to please come straight to the stage where the presentation will be made. And um, of course, Malam Nuhu Ribado is the second presenter. Please, can we ask your esteemed uh, personalities on stage, please? Uh, Professor Akin Oyebode and Malam Nuhu Ribadu. Of course, you know these names very well. And uh, I can only say that you ask, uh, please, can you give them a round of applause? And good thing, too, the chairman is just stepping in. Justice Mohammed Mustafa Kombi, retired justice of the Court of Appeal and former chairman ICPC, who will be coming straight to the um, stage to take his seat. And um, while they're coming up, I want to also let you know that this segment is going to be very, very interesting, if you ask me, because of the title or the topic. The discussions will eventually be His Excellency Babatunde Raji Fashala, Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Adam Zoshomole, Governor of Edo State, His Excellency Ali Wamako, Governor of Sokoto State, his Excellency Bikunle Amosu, Governor of Ogun State, and of course, who is represented, and in their time, they will make their presentation. Mr. Chairman, sir, you are most welcome, and at this point, I will just give you the microphone to make your opening remarks, and then we'll go straight to the session proper. Your yeah, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on the existing pro protocol. I consider it a great privilege and indeed a rare honor for me to be invited to participate in this very important program. I am glad to be among you all, my good friends, and I am proud to be part of you. I have no doubt that we will have very fruitful and useful deliberation on the subject of our discourse, building systems and institutions that prevent corruption. First of all, let me commend all the members of the Nigerian Governors Forum for their vision, commitment, resilience, and determination in the face of overwhelming odds to move this country forward, and indeed to ensure that the dividends of democracy is evenly spread and not limited only to the privileged and favored class. It is my fervent hope, therefore, that at the end of their tenure, history will judge them as being worthy of their calling and office. I commend their efforts so far. Let me also say that I know the two presenters of the papers to be discussed very well. They are both men of great accomplishment, and I believe they are capable of making good presentations. Professor Akin Oyebodi is a prolific writer and an outstanding commentator on matters of public interest. My younger brother, Nuri Badu, 
a compatriot in the fight against corruption, the anti-corruption crusader and fighter knows his, the ropes and is sure to acquit himself creditably. So I have no fear that we shall be treated to a lively discussion. As for the discussions, the platform of, this platform affords them the opportunity to speak of their experiences and their contributions to anti-corruption efforts of government. For my part, as a pioneering chairman of the ICPC, I can only say for now that building systems and institutions that prevent corruption is not an easy task. It can only be done if there is the political will on the part of the government or the ruling class. And if there is the will, the commitment, and the readiness of the political authority to adequately fund the agency charged with the responsibility to carry out the assignment of combating the menace of corruption. For well, indeed, corruption is the mother of all crimes. And until it is reduced to zero level tolerance or eliminated, this country cannot make the desired progress. More importantly, the agencies or institutions that are set up to fight corruption must comprise men and women of proven integrity who must be transparent and above board. The leadership of the body must be able to live by example. You cannot say one thing and do a different thing. You must yourself be sure that you will not submit yourself to any temptation from corrupt people. Those who, those purveyors of corruption are very powerful people. They have the money, they have the wealth with all to engage lawyers, the best lawyers in the country, to defend them. And unless we do something quickly, we will be in problem. Over the years when Nu Rubadu and I were fighting corruption, we knew it was possible to take a governor to court, to take a minister to court, to take the big fish, as we call them, to court. But today, the story is quite different. I am glad that after I left office, man, uh, a few things happened which made me sick. And I never stepped the office of the ICPC for eight years until they had a new man in charge of the place. I have been able to advise the gentleman who has taken over now, Mr. Ita, and he's doing his best to keep us on, on the right path. Badu has left, Waziri took over, Lemurde is now there. I do hope that what we are doing today will assist them in finding their feet in the struggle against corruption. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, whoever is going to head any of this body must be bold, must be courageous, and be prepared to face the challenges and fear no foe. I recollect when I was sworn in, I told President Obasanjo that I had put my life on the line. And I want to believe that uh, we did our humble best to lay a very solid foundation. We built bridges and tried to make sure that whoever takes over will do better. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But I'm now happy to report that the man on the saddle now is doing his best. Protecting the integrity of the institution and the personal image of the individual who is the head of the anti-corruption body should be the main focus and watchword of that person. You cannot lead in the struggle to fight corruption when you are yourself corrupt. And I want to say that some of the chaps I, I left, immediately I came, I came here. One gentleman from the SSS came to greet me. He knew that we did our best. When even our staff serving under us would not accept any drink. 
you give them. If you look at Singapore, the work which uh, uh, Lee Kuan Yew did there is inspiring. If you go to Bosana, one of the less corrupt African countries, in fact, one of the incorruptible countries, you will be amazed that even if you decide to give a present, they will not take it from you. So the challenge is there for our leaders, and I'm very happy, very, very happy that the Governors Forum had deemed it wise to put corruption on their program. Just as I was coming in, I had a short interview, and I was asked, what do we do about corruption? My challenge to the Governors Forum and all other bodies is that, or political bodies, is that they should put corruption as part of their manifesto so that that will encourage them that if they are able to do that, we can vote for them. In voting for, an, for a corrupt people will not help Nigeria. Finally, the people themselves must all, at all times be part of the struggle to fight corruption. I say this because even in Hong Kong, it was the people who fought the police for corruption. They marched against them. The police reacted, and the final analysis today, Hong Kong is a less corrupt country than Nigeria is. May God Almighty direct us on the path of righteousness, on the path of rectitude, on the path of honor, so that together we can build a corrupt free nation. Thank you, and God bless.